Hi, in this video you will learn how to quickly and accurately determine the ideal length for your curtain rods. Step 1. Determining the positioning of the rod. The positioning of the curtain rod will depend entirely on your preference as you can see in the animation below. There's no industry standard or rule of thumb. Please visit the following page for some creative ideas and examples of curtain rod placements. The length of the curtain rod should be the same length as the area that you want to cover with your drapes. Ideally you want to make sure that the rod is long enough so that when you hang your drapes they cover the window frame and the light coming from the sides of the window. Please refer to the image below. You also want to take into account the length of the finials since they can add several inches to each side of the rod. Finally notice in the image below that each finial slides roughly one inch inside of the pole so you need to take this into account when determining the pole length. It's a good idea to purchase poles that are slightly longer than you require because you can always cut them to your desired length with a hack saw if they're too long. DraperyCurtainRods.ca sells curtain poles in 4 sizes, 4 foot, 6 foot, 8 foot and 10 foot long. You can connect 2 or more curtain rods with a rod connector in order to increase the length. If an individual rod is required to be longer than 8 feet, please visit the long curtain rods page for more information. Thank you for watching this video. Now you can easily determine the ideal length for your curtain rods. To view and purchase some of the most beautiful drapery hardware available online, please visit www.draperycurtainrods.ca.